I think there is a profound connection between life in the sea and humans. Every second breath you take is actually being produced, the oxygen in there is being produced by algae that live in the oceans. One single organism, one single species of those that you are missing can completely change the field or completely change the future of society. This is a superpower. The power of, of merging science and arts is, I think, that you, you get the toolkit as a scientist to express um, the mysteries of life in a completely new dimension. So this project aims to combine science and arts in order to transform our relationship with the sea. We know nothing about half of the diversity of the life, more than half of the diversity of the life. It's been estimated that only about 5% of the oceans have been mapped, 5%. A planet that is primarily water is ludicrous. So for me, it was also the realization that with my hardcore science that I do in the academic <laughs> context, we produce very interesting data, but we do not necessarily reach people. And there's so much data out there telling us what we need to do in order to fight climate change. Therefore, I think it's apparent that these days we need to work together in a bigger interdisciplinary team to look at these more global big problems from various angles and pool expertise. And this is, of course, an experiment uh, that has very rarely been done, but where I feel uh, that this will only be beneficial and be very fruitful for understanding how we as scientists can communicate this message to uh, other people, to other scientists, but also to politicians, for example, and to people making uh, policies about how to protect our natural worlds. When an artist looks at an apple, and a scientist looks at an, at an apple, it's the same object, but they're going to extract different information and interpretations from that. So I think that these are slightly different interpretations of the universe. They're both valid, and they are actually self-referential. So why not actively try to integrate those fields um, much more than traditionally has happened in the past? We're bringing uh, people together from very, very different disciplines, I think, professions. All of them are not used to draw. And it's not about doing a nicely done picture, but to say something. We are talking about um, the same questions over and over again from different angles, but it's something totally different when you put it on paper. You have to be more precise and you have to get down to the core of it. It provides new avenues of, of things that we can go. So um, we can go actually farther. So it, you know, it, it, the same field can go to a, to a certain point. Uh, by combining with another field, you can always go farther. Uh, and, and I think that's extremely important because the farther we go as a society, the better for us in, in the future. I think the future of the project is bright. I think this year was already very successful. And in the long run, I envision to create an institution, a think tank, where people meet on a regular basis to work uh, across disciplines. Our uh, focus would be combining it with arts. But uh, of course, we are interested in others, other institutions who combine it with journalism, for example, filmmaking or philosophy, uh, so I'm very open to that and I would like to establish a very complex educational system with all these aspects. We bring international students that are immersed early on in their career into multidisciplinary approaches. They will learn how to interact um, and communicate and work across disciplines and I envision this to be the, the future leaders of our societies. 
I think that um, the more we learn about the seas, and I mean everything about the seas, from the microscopic to the macroscopic, um, the uh, sharper the urgency will become on trying to preserve the only planet in the universe we know harbors life.